hello guys welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create a screw threaded lock bolt in solidworks so this is the good example for beginners i hope you will enjoy our tutorial thanks for watching so let's see how we create this model in solidworks by using various commands like student boss base fillet student cut thread and many more so look how we do this in solid work i hope you will enjoy our tutorial thanks for watching so here uh, see the view of this threaded bolt i hope you will enjoy it so just create this part so here we uh, go to the file select new here we select part okay and now change the background to plain white okay here we select front plane top plane right click sketch normal and here we create circle so go to the circle select this origin point create circle up to here go to the smart dimension select this circle and make it 23 diameter okay so we uh, go to the feature select student boss base make this 14 mm stored okay now here we remove the background shadow select this face right click sketch normal here we select circle and create circle from this center point go to the smart dimension select this circle make it at uh, 7.9 diameter ok so here we create uh, cut out through all so go to the feature select student cut select through all both direction ok now here we again select this face right click sketch normal and here we create circle so go to the circle command select this point create up to here go to the smart dimension select this circle and make this circle 36 diameter go to the feature select student boss base and we make the stored this 12 mm ok and now here we create the cutout so we just look so here we uh, select this face right click sketch normal here we create a uh, first vertical and uh, horizontal center line so select the center line from this point we create one vertical line up to here again go to the center point line and create one horizontal line select this one from this point we create horizontal center line ok and now here we create three point arc so we uh, select so my pc runs slow so it takes time to perform the action so we go to the arc select three point arc select this point this point and create up to here ok so here we just make the relation symmetric so select this point this point press with shift key and select this line and make the relation symmetric ok now go to the smart dimension select this point this one make this gap 10 mm ok and now again 
we select first uh, we just create one point to this upper edge so first we uh, apply the point so go to the point and uh, so it will not work better so first we apply the point and here we select this one okay now go to the smart dimension select this point and this point so here we make the gap between this so we will keep 3.5 mm so it looks better so again we create circular pattern to this sketch so go to the circular pattern here parameter so select this center point entity to pattern so select this line sorry not line we select this arc and here we will keep seven numbers okay so again go to the circle select this point create circle up to here okay now we trim so go to the trim command trim this line this one this one okay now here we remove okay so here we extruded cut to this sketch so we go to the feature select extruded cut and make the extruded cut up to next okay so here we will cut this portion so here is time to apply the fillet so we create fillet to this face so we go to the fillet select fillet and here we make the fillet of uh, we will keep 2 mm so make it first we make 1.5 select this face ok so again we create the fillet so go to the fillet command here we will keep 1.5 mm so we will keep 2 mm select this face so we will create separately all this face select this one this one this one ok now here we will apply this fillet to this one so we will select chamfer here we will create 2 mm at 45 degree select this edge so look how we do this so again we create uh, extrude first we apply the material go to the appearance here we select plastic so select plastic here we select satin finish not satin finish pattern so we will select texture ok and now here we drag below side we will uh, just choose one better texture to this uh, head so we will keep this one ok so it looks better again we create uh, a sketch on select this face right click sketch normal and here we create circle so go to the circle select this origin point go to the smart dimension select this circle and we will make it a diameter so we will keep 8 diameter ok 
now here is time to extrude so go to the feature select extruded boss base and here we make the extrude 30 mm okay so we will create this sketch so just we uh, apply the thread so first we apply the material so go to the metals and here we will uh, select steel and here we will keep brush steel ok so again we uh, apply the thread to this so go to the hole wizard select thread here thread pop up open it will ask thread location so select this edge so here we select this edge ok so go below side here we will make the size m8 and we will keep pitch 1 mm ok now here we will select cut thread ok so here we change the condition up to selection now here we select this face so we will cut up to this selection ok here we will keep cut thread so it will not work so here we will make it uh, mirror profile so it will be work so just not work this feature select mirror and select mirror vertically ok so uh, select mirror horizontally so we will keep the revolution we will put according to your uh, requirement so we will keep cutting up to here only so we will keep 15 revolution fifteen point seven five select mirror horizontally now ok so here we will cut this thread so again we uh, just select this face right click sketch and make it convert into this go to the feature select extruded cut and make the condition through all so it will work So guys I hope you will enjoyed our tutorial. This is the tutorial for beginner student and educational purpose. I hope you will enjoy it. Thanks for watching.